How's it going everybody? Goldhat here and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be entry 17 of my Cyberpunk 2077 walkthrough guide and in this entry we are going to be focusing on the full Pan Am Polymers storyline. So there are going to be three missions that we are going to do for this storyline. Now the only way to get this is to complete the campaign missions Ghost Town and Life During Wartime. If you're missing those missions or you don't know how to get those, they're going to be on my channel. So definitely check that out. But the first one you will get is going to be a side job that is going to be called Riders on the Storm. So our first objective for Riders on the Storm, once we flip that on, is to go meet with Pan Am at her camp. Once we arrive, we're going to get some dialogue. Throughout this video, I'm going to be cutting out all the parts that do not matter. I'm only going to be focusing on what you might be looking for. So let's go ahead and get started. Sure, it was wraiths. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Always, Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass let's go mitch will walk you through the details well i'll be pan am and v what's going on there her after what happened to scorpion she shows up here I guess probably for soul ignore that hey, pan am Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. We never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Their problem? Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be her guardian rifle. Not going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Leader gets nabbed and you what? Hope for the best? Rather not think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. The next set of objectives we are going to be taking care of are we're going to scan this whole area. I'm going to go ahead and run through this real quick and then we are ready to get in here. But this time, do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why? Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in? Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks?
Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay. Got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him on my back. So, that should be everything. V. Will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. Want me driving? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. So we're going to hop in this van and drive all the way to that area. I am going to cut out all that driving so we don't have to waste time on that. Once we arrive, I'm going to show you three ways okay. that we out. can get in here undetected and besides the front door, of course. But I'm going to show you three ways that we can get in here. And then right after that, we are going to complete our objectives. So what we can do is start on this left side and take this guy out and then we can start right, working to the right side. We range. do want to go into that small cubicle building and take out that guy first. He is going to be controlling a lot of the cameras so if we take him out we do not have to really worry about anybody else. So let's go ahead and get that done.
Fuck. Keep your eyes peeled. See I close. see several heavy hitters. Just wait. Nothing to see just yet. Wait till they give me the best of the torch. Try to melt them down. On the right side over here, there are going to be two entrances that we can take. We can rip this Damn open if your skill sight. points are up to that. And then the next thing we can do is go to the right and there's going to be a tunnel that we can do if your skill points are up to it. I just want to show you both spots and then I will come back out here and we can go to the left side because there's an entrance over there as well. What are you five? Get out of here! And nothing to be shy about! Think I found a sneaky way to slip in. Perfect. These brutes will never be the wiser. So in front of the main gate, we can just run across here. And if you keep going straight, we can just jump on all this and just jump over the fence. And that way we can get in there without being detected. But I'm going to go ahead and just kill everybody. And I will talk to you right after.
from you. Fucking rabbits. So let me go. There's no line they won't cross. None. Great. I think I got eyes on him. Is he breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Easy, so. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not for us. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. You're pretty badly beat. Probably can use this. Uh, oh, yeah. So? How is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. I'll have a shit storm down here. Ruined to be a category five. I know. Get out of the building. I'll be right there. Brace yourselves. Am, you're making a mistake. Another one. You're serious right now? Those devils want us to know our location. If we drive to camp now, we'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. And the scent of blood? What? We got more chopping at our tail. Fuck. One way to treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul. I can't squeeze any more out of it. Cut off that tail. Get ready. All the condors.
All right, damn it, that's it. This all is low. I can't push much more. Woo! We got him. I need me. Ha! How do we go? Couldn't have done it better myself. Out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. The angle's left in a hurry. Biotech made them a good offer. Hey, it worked! We have lights! Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get it. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No, no lecture. But we do need to talk. That rate's crap. Once we do come back inside after turning on the heater One and the thing. power, we are going to get some Here dialogue that I'm going to be cutting out. Please you will wake up and walk outside, she's and she's well. going to be on the steps. You'll talk to her. She'll walk over to this motorbike, reward you with a sniper. You're going to get a little bit more dialogue, and that is going to complete the side mission, Riders on the Storm. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. So once you get mission complete on the left side of your screen, you need to get out of this area so she can call you. What I do is I just jump on this bike. If you've already left this area, that's fine. Just get in a car and just go. Once you get out of this area, you just want to park somewhere and wait. It took about five to six minutes just standing idle before she called me. And this is how I was able to start the next mission, which is going to be with a little help from my friends. 
If you are having any problems with her calling you to start this mission, I, I can give you a couple suggestions real quick. Try to complete the campaign to On its fullest way. and then restart the campaign yeah. so it gives Thanks. you free ride mode. That is essentially what I am doing intel. here to get this mission. If you have well, completed the campaign uh, and you're still not getting guess. that phone call, Salt, I would pull out right? the phone and I'm read the text well. from her and mm -hmm. also give her a See call. It's not going to go anywhere, but after that phone call and reading those texts, it should release it so she does find finally call you. But once she does finally call you, we will get a side job that is going to be called with a little help from my friends. We're just going to flip that on real quick. And our first objective here is to go back to the camp. We're going to get some dialogue and I'll pick up then. No, the rest will stay here Fee, in camp. You're here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy. So you call in your friend to do it all behind my back. Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Rotting Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul. Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Okay, I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. No oh, shit, not good. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But, are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? 
So after all that dialogue in the camp, we are going to get in these vans and we are going to take off. I'm going to cut out all that driving. You can save that dialogue for your own game. I don't want to put in too many spoilers here. But once we get here with a little help from my friends, our first objective here is to get into this building, which I'm going to show you now. There is going to be a key card that we need to need pick hands? up, which I will show you that course, location. And then we are going to put it into a little first. machine. I will show you that location as well. Come and on, then essentially we have completed this mission. There's it is then. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. I've always been fond of trains and the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Sure thing. Not here. Not here. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards first. Okay, it must be here somewhere. Please, look thoroughly, please. Not a... Not here. Nothing here. something good job Carol we have a card what now you have to put it in the reader well V the card in the reader here goes nothing I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But... Is that all? I... Sorry. That sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No. I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Hmm, not really your style, don't think. I went out a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now.
We could still track your ass down a minute, honey. Three. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. Now that we are sitting at the campfire, we are going to get some more dialogue and then we eventually will just go to sleep and then we will wake up like this. I'm just going to cut out all of that. We are going to get back in these cars and we are going to have a shootout. I will leave that in here just in case you're having a problem with that and I will talk to you after we get a mission complete. How's it going there, V? 
Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I'll take care of this myself. <laughs> it is fucking phenomenal. Man, I'm telling you. No, you have to experience it yourself. Sure, I, I get it. Fuck, Pan Am! So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Now that we have gotten a mission complete here, we are ready to start our next mission. We need to get a phone call first. The way to get this phone call is to completely leave the camp. Once you have gotten far enough away, you want to pull up the skip time, and that way we can skip 24 hours. And as soon as you do that, we will get a phone call here, and we are ready to start our first objective of Queen of the Highway. Sure. Be there soon. It is awesome. So I hear. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a... All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. 
Come on, hop in. Everything is set. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Well, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. to do it. Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Good! They're deader than dirt now. Bullseye! Okay, 
practice is over. Good. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning... Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will play. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Okay, let's try this. This will get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now. on his or her own, must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Now that we've gotten back here, this is essentially the end of the mission. We are going to get tons of dialogue and cutscenes. I want to cut out all of that for spoilers, but as soon as it's done, we will get our achievement slash trophy, Life of the Road. Now that we have completed the full Pan Am storyline, we are going to be wrapping up Entry 17. As always, I hope this walkthrough guide has been super helpful. If it has been, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to drop a comment down below, or you can hit me up personally on my Instagram. The link is in the description box, and I'll see you guys next time. Gold Hat, signing off.